Hello, my warriors. How's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech. Guys, it is time that we're gonna continue playing and that we're gonna build an atlas. Maybe today already. We will see about that. So, first of all, we gotta do some repairs. We gotta get out of fatigue because that's usually the case. And our training module tier 2 is done. We have enough money for the next financial report, but does it mean we're gonna upgrade the Argo a little bit more and then get some money? I would say yes, that's, that's it. We're gonna dump directly into um, more tech points. So the Arcane gives us morale and one tech point. This is two morale and one tech point. It's very cheap though, it's 150,000 and only 15 days. I want something that is like fast, so we can uh, get the tech points real quick. You know what? We're gonna build a library. Yup. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Absolutely. Library is like super fast. It's 10 days and only 157,000. So let's smart up our people. Let's do that. All right. Or maybe we're just gonna stock the library with comic books. That would also be pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, as soon as the Valkyrie is done, we're gonna dive into the next mission. And yeah, it is now. Wow, we have three days to get the money. But you know what? We only are 90,000 away. Actually, 82,000 away from our financial report, which is okay. So, I want to play something big here. So, let's go for a two and a half scale battle. It's an urban environment. Or we can ambush a convoy in the jungle. That's difficult, actually. But this one here has way more payout uh, with the same amount of salvage. So, we're gonna go for the bigger one. Alrighty. So, 400,000 is the prospect. We are playing with the Valkyrie. Are we now? Maybe I didn't need to wait for the Valkyrie at all. Ah, yeah. I could have I could have just gotten in there, but that's okay. So, let's deploy with the lands that we have at hand. And um, we need somebody to learn how to actually punch people in the guts with a mech. And that's uh, probably gonna be Decker. Oh, no, wait. It's gonna be T-Bone. T-Bone is the one that has the... What's it called? Gladiator perk? Yeah, I think it was something like that. So, we have to train Mr. Mr. T-Bone. First of all, a little bit of a passive training in the simulators, I would say. And as soon as he at, you know, kind of piloting 6 or 5-ish, we can probably dump him on the battlefield and give him a mech to control. But for the moment, you know, we're gonna leave him there for the moment. Cool. So yeah, there is an atlas to build and uh, I have no idea how I'm gonna get the funds together to actually build that thing. I believe we probably have to just get a good chunk of engines and, and valuable items to put into the atlas. And then there's also the second thing. We have to... Um, we have to we have to gather some some materials, some equipment, some weapon systems, some electronics, some uh, ECM, uh, double heat sinks, kits, stuff like that. As well as a good chunk of money. So, yeah, I'm kind of in the tension field of wanting to start the repairs on the Atlas already because it probably takes us 40 days total to actually build that thing. Um, depending on how damaged it is, of course. But uh, I also kind of want to keep playing missions and that Atlas is going to soak up our finances for a while. But as soon as we have that thing, it's going to be glorious. It's going to be really good. So, yeah, it's all about the money. It's all about the finances and how to progress through the game. And, um, yeah, here we are. On a battle point, uh, on, on a battlefield in the, in an urban environment, which is gonna be pretty cool, I would say. I, honestly, I like urban environments more than I like in the last patch, because nowadays the performance is a bit better, definitely. And, um, I like having cover, I like advancing through the narrow city alleys, and, uh, kind of find different angles on my en enemies. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. Command interface initiated. So, here we are. Samira wants us to drop here. Our enemies seem to be like here-ish in this kind of park area. Now it's a generator area. Alright, so. Let's get in here. We'll cover your advance and... What's going on here? Oh, that's a, that's a joint operation, I think. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. So, my enemies are here and... We can only drop, you know, so far away from them. Like this. Oh, yeah, that's possible. Cool. Yeah, I'll take that. Let's drop in the puddle. And be close to our foes. Yeah, and our friendlies are coming down here as well. So that's kind of nice to have. All right. So let's see what's going on. I need to... 312. My teammates still have... I need to first figure out what we have. That is a Raptor. Very nice. That's an assassin. Also pretty good. It's a, an overheating assassin. Nice. We have a Wolfhound with two live PPCs and a Snob. Nice. And the Cicada 3X with two medium X-Pulse and two MML7. 
That's some great stuff that you bring there to the table. I wonder what my enemies are gonna be like. So, I also um, I changed my settings a little bit so that the animation is a little bit slower. So you can, you know, uh, you, you can have a better time you know, seeing what's going on on the battlefield. Because the people are not zipping around like lightning anymore. It's still fast, but it's not like super fast. Anyway, one of those guys need to survive, so I gotta keep them safe as well. That's very important. Also, what's that now? Oh, wait a sec. Is that the amount of ECM that the people have? Is it shown now? Because that would be awesome. So yeah, it's my turn. Let's get in here and uh, see what's coming. I see a guillotine. A gu guillotine. I don't know how you say it in English. Kind of a French word. It's kind of a, like a chopping block with a big blade. A blackjack. And, and there was something else. No, there's nothing Waiting else for yet. Orders. Nothing else yet. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and sprint. There we go. Now we found him. I think I want my owns on the front. They are Amazon power armor and Irinius. Oh my god, that thing is so nasty. We gotta take him out. So... Here we are. We still have some people uh, that can move, and I will, definitely. So, Knight Carrier to the front. We also bring the Striker, which is a great addition to our lands. And here we are. Let's see what we can do. There are two more, by the way. Yo, these guys can jump. That's cool. That's really cool. A Black Knight. Hello, Mr. Black Knight. It's good to see you, man. Right, the Irinius actually took some damage, which is super good. And I believe it's his turn, you know, right now. Which is not, no, wait, there's a Phoenix Hawk as well. Also good to know. And they're probably going for my Owens, right? And actually hitting him. Also, look at that. There is a, there's a new visual representation of armor. That's now a white outline with gray inlay. Interesting. Anyway. Standing by. It is now a Tinker's turn. Ooh, I'm in the back of that thing. Wait, do we have a hit chance on that thing? We don't. Ah, uh, probably, probably caused by high evasion right now. It's only two though. Weird. Very weird. Yeah, I think. Am I gonna stay there? I think I will. Yeah. So our friendlies are hopefully helping out by just coming through and, and, you know, being there. Attracting some fire. That's red numbers on the Arrhenius. Not bad. Love it. But it's his turn now. Right? I mean, these guys are 17, 18. The Black Knight will be lower. It's the Arrhenius now. And he did not shoot. Perfect, guys. Perfect. Raptor pushing forward. Alright, he will drop some swarm missiles. I mean, that's a bit of armor shaving. I wonder what this guy's up to, what he is running there. I mean, 800 armor is... Is that a medium mech still? That is a heavy mech, correct? I mean, look at the blackjack, which is certainly a medium. 680 armor on the blackjack, 800 on the guillotine. Uh-huh. So far, so devastating. Blackjack. Yeah, a bunch of lasers here. And the ballistics are out of ammo, I believe. So it's a blackjack 1, which means it's a 2 AC 2. 2 AC 2 and then 5 laser? Oh, 4 laser? Yeah. That's a blackjack 1. And you're just leveling the ground here with massive firepower. We gotta deal with that guy. And I think quite soon. We also gotta remember that there is a power armor squad sitting down here. Standing by. So let's be somewhat careful. And let's also shoot what we can shoot, which is one of those guys. Either the blackjack or the Phoenix Hawk. And I think we're gonna go with highest hit chance here. Why is the hit chance so bad? Let's check it out. They have an ECM shield of two. Yeah, that's good to know. Um, sure. Can we shoot SRMs? We cannot, so it's gonna be uh, LRMs and we're gonna try to hit him. And we did hit him. I like the white outline. I really do. And yeah, we have a tank barrage on this guy. Black Knight is also coming in. Lots of lasers. Alright. And it is now my turn with Basilisk. Uh, what's that? 
Hmm. Yes, Let's get Tinker out of the way first, so that we are not risking any big stray shots. And yeah, we can possibly cool. also use our tag here. Let's try. Maybe we get some stray shots against the Black Knight if that doesn't hit. Yeah, we tagged the Black Knight. <laughs> Uh, huh? <laughs> That's pretty good. So now we can sprint in Heading here that way. And, and then try to shoot anything. Still, the problem is big ECM that uh, all of my enemies have here. No, we have no sensors. All right. Interesting. Fire anyway. Right. Sensors are impaired on the Hawk and on the Knight. I'm receiving you. Which brings me to Mr. Sly on the Striker. Oh, boy. Do we want him so much on the front line? Actually, we can possibly do that. We get four evasion if we go here. We get five over here. You know what? I believe that we have just enough initiative next round, right? Do we? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just completely flank this. Let's see. All right, and we're gonna probably shoot the black jack instead of the black knight here. Let's go. Right to that. Also leveling a building completely to the ground. Mr. Skyros has kind of the same notion. Yeah, we want to be somewhat close, but we don't want to go like all in. 11% is nothing. I'd rather shoot some 9% and hope that I hit one or two. Yeah, we got to go a counter ECM there. That's very important. All right, let's keep going. 29% on the max shot on both the Phoenix and the Jack. The Phoenix is already very damaged, so let's go with that. And also shoot LK here. And that is a medium laser down. Yeah, that's something. Critical hit, Commander. Good. Now what? The Amazons coming in, delivering their package. Alright, you had some kind of PPCs there. Power armor PPCs. I don't know how much damage they do, but it's kind of a little bit scary. Uh, let's try to take him out. And then, of course, the guillotine there. Very nice. That was the assassin with the plasma and the Inferno MMLs. Or MRMs? MRMs, I think. Yeah, not bad. Good job there, buddy. That's actually very helpful. Keeping those guys hard makes it so that they will probably not move that much this round. Which there means goes the paint job. they will not get that much evasion. And as a result, we will have an easier time to hit them. By the way, who's running the ECM there? Let me quickly check that. I'll try to check because these circles are kind of weird. I honestly don't see it. Might be the guillotine. Alright. So that was the... Oh, Irinius, of course. Yeah, that thing is also still there. And it is now turn 20 for the blackjack. That's four medium lasers. It's not much, but you can really contest my striker. And my carrier. Absolutely. We need a bigger carrier. Something like an LRM or ATM carrier would be extremely good. Cool thing about the Striker, by the way, it has armor. So the armor plates are 181 on the front and 110 on the side. So it can really soak up some. Yeah, that's a problem. That's okay. Not much armor left. In Ooh, that Skyros panicked. So, turn 18. Come on, friendlies. Help me out. All right, that was the Irinius, I think, that he tried to shoot, but without success. Let's see. That was the Panther. No, the Wolf Hunt with the light PPCs and the Snub. Uh, Proto make core 27 crit. What? Something happened. That thing seemed to have, like, no armor whatsoever. Yeah, the cool thing is, uh, this guy is still... St Stands in the barrage and he is overheating. All right, Basilisk. Uh, what's that? Let me test your marksmanship here. Gotta move. Heading that way. I uh, gotta go for his face with all the stuff that we have. Lighting them up. It's good. I like this new, this new paper doll because it feels more responsive. I think. Yeah, that's cool. Good to go. Alrighty. So that didn't work. I mean, we dealt damage, but it didn't work as in a headshot that we've gotten here. Let's keep doing what we are doing. Fire. Roger that. Big miss. Medium laser destroyed. A critical hit. This guy is stressed big time. 
I mean, we have a barrage coming in. He's probably getting ripped apart on the side torso. And I believe that our Cicada will also go for this guy now. You know, dealing a good chunk of damage. Maybe even destroying internals. Hmm. Good to go. Now. How? How are we going to do this? How do you want to do this? 6%. I'm still going for it. Yeah. Come on, man. So, your side is down. The mech is down on the ground. And that's a panic as well as two injuries. He's down to four health. Still panicked. Standing by. Okay, Skyros, on the other hand, has to go somewhere where he's kind of safer. Let's actually move around huh. here. So. And... I mean, the only thing that he can really shoot is this guy. Is the... Yeah, it's the Black Knight. Maybe we can make him panic out. That was a headshot, by the way. Come on. Reporting. Critical Ow, hit. doesn't go home. Orders? That's bad. That's really bad. What's our striker gonna do? I would say a similar thing. Let's go here for four evasion. No shooting. Always Just good. Running. We can shoot the guillotine. The barrage is gonna deal with the black knight anyway. Yeah. We also hit the black jack in the back a little bit. That was nice. See that? The stray shots coming through. Not bad. I think I dealt more damage than I would have uh, if I targeted him directly. That's pretty cool. Receiving you. And another one. We can... And I think we also should go... Zip. All in. Max on fire. Alright. But yeah, I want to get this guillotine now. So. Let's see. Black... Black Knight, Black Jack, both are getting hit. Also, the Phoenix Hawk. But the Black Knight is still alive. Alright. Oh no, here come the little ones. Going melee. This could be bad. Alright, 25 damage. We take that. As well as, of course, the fire that's coming now. Ooh, what the? That was a lot of tiny instances of damage. Lots of 25, 25, 25. more swarms and that my friends was the engine crit no wait it was something else they crit the leg <gasps> I thought it was the engine you could you stop hitting my hunchback that would be great guys oh man that's a lot of repair cost already and we are unsteady keep that in mind the melee attack coming from the power armor was quite nasty but now we can actually retaliate because they also got destabilized all right so, friendlies are helping out with the knight, which is now completely destroyed, so... We will probably pick one part. Mm, the wolfhound was overheating, by the way. You could hear that right now. And so does the blackjack, right? I mean, it's very nice that they're going for my friendlies. But yeah, he was going all in. Death from a freaking buff? <gasps> that phoenix hawk! Systems holding. Wow! They are going I in with done. more melee now, which is actually quite cool. I like it. I like that they do it. I don't like being on the receiving end. Yeah, anyway, let's move. I'm walking here. And kind of get these power armors out, or what? Yutine. The Phoenix Arc is destabilized. Big time. I mean, there are so many targets. We just have to choose. Alright, let's... That's a lot, man. That's a lot to do. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with somebody that has more pinpoint. I'm gonna try to stabilize the Phoenix Hawk a bit more. So, here we go. I mean, we have our Gauss Rifle right in front of these little guys. Might be enough. We all need to get to Mr. Basilisk again. Come on, Mr. Basilisk. Nice hit. I look. Uh, what's that? So, here we go. Uh, 23 is a not a hit chance at all. Also, we are kind of standing Ready for order. in our... We would stand in our own PPC blast if we do it like this. So that's not really an option. We can, however, keep shooting the Hawk. This time also with SRMs. Fire. Right, we got one arm down. He is not destabilized. He's I still on I his feet, though. Uh, what's that? Um... Hunchback is turn 8. I think I'm gonna wait for it. Ready. Backshot is also not really possible. Alright, I'm gonna do one thing. 
And that is Waiting. using Ningyo. Could also melee this thing. I could melee this thing and have perfect hit chance? Alright, let's see. What if we kick this thing? We'd have a pretty good hit chance. Let's try this. Hit him! Alright, good damage. That hurt. That worked. And now what? Wow! Okay, can we do the uh, same thing with Basilisk? No, we cannot. <laughs> it's not possible. I mean, we cured. It says we have 106 melee coming out of this. No. No, no, no. It now says 48. 106 is... is what? Stated here, down in the, in the bottom. That was way bigger before. I think we are following up on the... on the Hawk, which is not possible. Also, where is my... where's my ECM? I want to use my ECM. I want to counter it. Hmm. That's super weird. So, if we back up a little bit, I think we have a decent hit chance. And I way. think we just don't shoot our PPC here. Or maybe we do. Yeah, let's go. Lighting them up! Something just went boom! Yeah, something definitely Waiting went boom. For orders. Follow up here, Mr. Skyros. Can you do it? I hope you can. Let's move. Just zipping around a bit. <laughs> and shoot dead fire or standard ammo? I think I think standard might be better for the higher hit chance here. Yeah. We didn't uh, lag him and we didn't knock him. A critical hit. So they still have a turn. Unless Tinker is coming in. Yo, Tinker, where are you? I'm gonna go and, and backstrike this thing. Actually, you want to go and backstrike... Yeah. Actually, the power armor as well as Mr. Mr. Phoenix Arc here. We wouldn't be really able to move and shoot against the Phoenix Arc. We get two evasion if we move here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it. At all. Oh, and since we are also destabilized, we have to go Vigilance. No, we can possibly sprint and now we can possibly get in his side nope 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 it's just a back shot or the other side I want this leg all right here's what we do we will sprint for four on the move move over Full here speed. and shoot this thing on it. right we didn't get much so, turn three. Let's see. Our friends are still here. This guy is turn 22, which is insane. Oh, friendly helping. That's great. So now he's down to turn 17 because he got a side torso destruction there. That's nice. Thank you, Assassin. Thank you very much. That's pretty good. So now Waiting we have Tinker order. again. Oh, wait. Yeah, Tinker is moving backwards. She's running through the fire and flames, but I don't care. And she's gonna do it now, which now. is knocking down the Phoenix Arc, because that's enough stability damage to get him on the ground. Krabong. Even got a side torso explosion. Yup, 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 yup. And that is uh, massive damage against my striker, no, against my carrier from a friendly fire shot. Damage is minor, Ow. Alright, turn 19. Guillotine still here. Sure, going forward to shut down Wolfhound. Thank you for being such an obvious target. That is very nice. Now we can use Basilisk, uh, and he's gonna move. Oh man, it's like right here. Heading that way. And is trying to destroy that thing now. Lighting him up. And we got it. I know. I'm very well aware. I shot my PPC with a splash against my Hunchback, but I was willing to take the little damage because I wanted that thing out of the game now. All right. So the decoy is there, and the blackjack shuts down. Perfect. Yes, Commander. What are we doing now? I mean, we have some options. And I think dealing with the Phoenix Hawk is our next and uh, biggest and foremost goal. Let's kill that thing. With a headshot. Not bad. Alright, that, that means that we might we get kill. some good stuff out of the Hawk. Would be cool. The Blackjack is a Blackjack 1. It's kind of like a standard stock, standard plus. mech. I don't want it really. So my goal is to... Possibly, probably just destroy it as much as possible. Let's go. Let's go over here and... Um, not shoot the medium pirate. Well, actually, we should shoot the pirate and not shoot the regular medium. 
And we are going for his head again? I don't know. Engaging with target. Let's go wild, folks! So, we got a heatsink destroyed, and he good. actually got a headshot. Orders. Mm-hmm. All right, Skyros, retaliation now. Very good. Critical hit command. So he's not only shut down, but he's also destabilized. And um, hmm, I mean, he's he's gonna stay like that a while. There are flames on the way, but that's cover, and I like it. Let's go ahead and shoot him in the back as well. Bon All right, we got him. One more enemy to kill. Map, it's the guillotine. Battle mech power up detected. Oh, what? What happened? Your PPC capacitator exploded? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no. Um, sorry to hear that, buddy. I want to sprint for three minimum. Can we get four? No. But three is okay. We are in his Double bag, time. which Let's should give go. him a bit of trouble. I'm gonna leave the small laser out of that. We're still too hot, though. Or are we? Uh, I might be just on the brink of being overheated. Let's go. Firing at enemy six. Got him tagged, which is nice. Okay, he's coming closer. He's still hitting my striker. Damage is light. And yeah, the, the the whole the whole fire is spreading Remember. like crazy. Cool thing is now we have him in his um, we have him in our flank or we are in his flank or whatever. So what we're we gonna be doing now? I'm still looking for the stupid ECM. I'm pretty sure my Orion has one. Huh. Well then, let's uh Passive ability? No. Active ability? No. I I don't know where it went. Anyway. Lighting him up. Hit him big time, made him unsteady. He is basically food for the fishes now. Give him hell. Yeah. That's what I mean. We also Ready got a good chunk off. of stress on him, and I think we just gotta stand and shoot. Locking on target. I'm pretty sure that he is not gonna do anything anymore. We're just gonna pound into his armor now and just Ready for maybe orders. even knock him down. Wait. This is better from the front. Unobstructed line of sight, always good. Never bad. And we fire. That's a knockdown. And another head hit? Ooh, he's down to two health, guys. That might be good. That might be great max salvage. Standing by. This will probably kill him. All the That's fine. <laughs> One less turn. So. Mission I just wanted successful. to get out of this mission. Let's keep going, guys. Let's keep going. I mean, my salvage here is pretty clear already. I'm probably gonna pick a Black Knight part and then every single item that seems valuable to me. So let's check it out. So the Black Knight is a no-brainer. It's a 75-ton mech and it's a good one. I really like that thing. Yeah, let's take it. So, uh, the re ah, the Arrhenius was a 9-toner. That was a small thingy. Whatever. We have two arc welders. Ah, that's fun. It's a melee weapon that deals a bit of uh, heat damage as well as a bit of damage. And deals more damage against overheating target. Yeah, that's nice. Battle armor PPC is 7 damage. Good to know. But it ignores evasion, has more accuracy and applies to ECM jamming. I think I want another medium expulse because they are great weapons. I love it. Multi-track fire control system. No, thank you. Yeah, as you can see, there's no, <laughs> there's not much, as well as patchwork tier three. I will take two of them. Oh yeah, you can do a lot of stuff with it. It's very, very expensive to apply, but it is something that is really nice to have. So yeah, we got some good stuff. We have a blackjack part, an Irinius part, a guillotine part, a 70 toner, by the way. Should have also picked that, possibly. <laughs> Phoenix Hawk, Phoenix Hawk, uh, MML as well. Nice to have. Selling all of this here. Also, patchwork tier 2 and a bunch of basic sensors because, you know, they are always basic sensors. Alright, that was the first round. Let's go ahead and repair. We have now enough money for the next financial report and then we're gonna be playing the second mission of the day. And I would say as soon as our, what was it, a library, right? As soon as the library is ready and we have another tag point, I think I'm gonna invest. I'm gonna build the Atlas. I'm gonna start 
putting that thing together and see how much it would cost to just repair that thing. But for that, we have to be an, in a safe zone regarding our finances. So let's check it out. Six days of repairs. Yeah, that's easy. Wait, a wait, 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 wait. What's, what about our tanks? Our tanks not repaired anymore. What happened? They are still here. We can still not refit them. All right. I mean, there was a patch. I should probably read the patch notes. Uh, yeah, we have one more day for the Argo upgrade. And you know what? I'm gonna... Since we only have two mechs in repair right now, it makes a lot of sense building that thing right now. Let's go. Storage. Atlas. D3. Let's go. Please be in good condition. It looks so damaged. Look at this guy. Oh. Yeah, it's gone. It's done. It is. Running a Street 20 clan, though. Not bad. What about the combat shield? <gasps> it's there. Oh, boy. That thing runs a combat shield. A 10-ton combat shield. Uh, it's a bit of a problem, though, because um, it uses all of our tonnage for specialist slots, which means an exchanger is not really an option on that thing right now. Unless, and here's the thing, unless we're gonna add TSM to it, because then we should be able... Yeah, now we have 20 tons carrying capacity. Is this thing a viable melee mech? I'm asking. Uh, wait, 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 where, wait, where's that thing? Here we go. Combat shield, vibra sword. Bam! Oh, let's go, Atlas! Hey! We can do that! It is, in fact, a viable thing to do. It comes with the combat shield, it has the vibra sword, we have a vibra sword for it. And, I mean, it's a command mech, plus initiative, increased resolve, it's super good, guys. That command mech needs to be here on the field. Uh, it comes with the radical double heat sink kit. Oh, we also maintain a bunch of medium X pulse here. Not bad at all. I love it. That's an option for later, certainly. Hey, but first, guys. Yeah? Wait. Ah, you see? Okay, okay, okay. The combat shield is, in fact, uh, it was broken and I was able to repair that thing. I see. Yeah, that's nice, but we need 40 days and 1.3 million. This is the money that we need for our financial report, so it's not an option to build that yet. Yeah, no. It's good to have an emergency coolant system and the radical double heatsink kit in that thing already, and two medium X pulse laser. I like it, guys. Now, we need the funds to build it. And honestly, I want to see if I can find enough value and cram in a bit more sea bills so that we can start the build. We need... 700,000 a galleon to buy. Cool. <gasps> Ogmoth. Light Gauss rifle. Lots of armor. Lots of speed. VTOL. That's pretty good. A falcon hover tank. Ah, it's not that great. The bulldog. Also, hmm. It's a striker. The strikers are nice. I like them. I'm a big fan of strikers, but they also, you know, you can, you can see the value is pretty high here. So, yeah, let me go ahead and go over here, see what I can drop to somehow get a million sea bills. Uh, Gauss rifle, no. Grenade launcher. Yeah, we also wanted to fiddle around with that thing. The light PPC can go, I think. We'll sell that. Sure. Um, a pirate LRM, also. It's valuable, but I'm not really a fan of that thing. Do we drop the LRMs right now? I have the feeling that the answer is no. No, we are not doing that. Uh, Expulse lasers, yeah, they are great. Mine dispensers. Also a thing that we can technically just play around with. We can use mines if we wanted to. Oh cool, we have an MML-15 already. Yeah, I, re uh, I just uh, realized that thing exists. Plant plasma, too valuable to give up. The Donald PPC. Yeah, I'm not a fan of peeps. The silver bullet Gauss rifle just gives me a lot of money, and I'm just gonna drop that thing now. I think we are getting there. It's very important to start the build now. A bunch of SRMs can go. The Valiant as well. The fours, yeah, sure. Drop all of the SRMs. I think we are beyond that. The barrage tech. Um, what? Well, well, it's nice to have. Period. <laughs> there is no more coming out of my mouth right now. While well, it's nice to have, and this is where I stop. Yeah, it's nice to have. Period. 
Um, the 210 can go. Sure. The 200 can go. Sure. We have one XL, and I think I know where it's going. Um, Artemis, Artemis Clan. We're gonna sell Inosphere Artemis then. We have a Bloodspot fire control system. We should really put that into our melee buddy. Multitrack. Multipass. Clan fire control system. There's three Pharo Fibers. We'll sell two and the broken one. Alright. Gonna keep the doubles. Gonna keep heavy. Lamb Turbine. Mask. Clan mask. Eh, can keep it. We have a bunch of Protos. There's a Recon Sensor. They are basic, basic sensors again. They're actually worth a bit. And you can see we're already getting there, which is very nice. A Vibrosaur 2. Are we, are we keeping that thing? Do we just sell it? I mean, our melee mech already has a tent on Viper Sword, so why would we keep that thing around? No, I mean, looking good, guys. We have two million now, which means we can go back to the mech bay and start the rebuild of the Atlas, because I want that thing on the battlefield. Hell yeah. And here's the funny thing, that thing was broken. But now it's repaired again. I'm not questioning it. Alright. We will cancel this real quick. Because I thought it was... Ah, I thought it was the, the double confirm bug, which would have taken twice the amount of money away from us. But yeah, no, guys, we have an Atlas in the making. It takes a million times, 40 days, to just repair it. And good thing is, we have enough money for the financial report, and we can keep playing by also getting that big guy on the battlefield soon. Soon. Alright, so, guys, second mission of the day. Let's get back into our tanks, let's get back into our mechs. I want to do one thing real quick, and that is actually bringing the Bloodspot fire control system into the, yeah, into the Valkyrie. So let's do that real quick. That gives us more initiative and more melee accuracy, which is very much needed if we want to play that thing with the Viper Sword. Comes with TSM already. Has no claws or anything yet, which is a bit of a bit of a problem. Man, we need we need those melee lower arms and all of that. So currently this mech is just not really kicking it. Do we bring it to the battlefield? Is it better than our Owens right now? That's the question that I have. Probably not. But I want to give T-Bone a chance. So let's go back to the barracks and see if T-Bone already got some... Let me see. Yeah, he has nothing. We have to train him on the battlefield. And we need that melee pilot. So let's bring him. We're gonna leave Tinker out of this with the with the Owens, which means we can dive into the next mission right away. I want something like a nice battle. That's a good blackout. Escort, target acquisition. Uh, you know what? We're gonna take Audacity here. It's a lowland battle, one and a half. Should be doable. And we're gonna drop the Owens and we're gonna bring T-Bone. I wanna see what he can do. Alright, buddy. L let's go. I am not feeling super comfortable in this one. It could really result in us getting knocked down, getting destabilized because of our bad piloting roles that we have. And um, it could be that T-Bone actually, you know, gets an injury out of that. Or we get massive repair costs because of unfortunate events that will happen. But I want to see what our mech is capable of doing. I want to see what, you know... I want to assess the situation to see uh, if we have to actually put him to the simulators and wait for ages to get him back on the battlefield. Or if there is some merit of having that mech on the battlefield already. Thing is, it is not really made for um, for extended shooting, because I want the TSM to kick in, and therefore I was uh, not going for maximum heat management. This thing has pretty bad heat management, but it is supposed to be like that, so that our mech can heat up and then the mech muscles will kick in, Command which give us more melee initiated. damage and a more sprint speed. Alright, all the way up there, that's good to know. Uh, how close can we get? Nope. Like, they're here-ish on the corner. Yeah, it feels like we have to go... Wow. We have to actually drop in our designated drop zone? Let's go there. It's a very small map anyway. So we, we will be on the front line in no time. Hey, after we finish, swimming anyone? Swimming? I like it. Alrighty. So, a little bit of an uphill battle way. early on. And then we're just gonna... Try to face our enemies directly. Let's move. On my way. Copy that. All right, here they come. I see a single gun technical, which is uh, a little Toyota with a <laughs> with a 
gun on the pickup? I don't know. I'm gonna reserve this. Let him come to Roger us a bit. That. Standing by. I'll wait here for now. Is that the only, only guy? No, I also see a sand devil, whatever that thing is. All right, that's cool. Yeah, and that's my turn. Uh, huh? What the hell? Go ahead and shoot the gun technical on the back. I mean, that thing has nothing. Lighting them up. Or we are also not hitting anything. Whiff. A whiff. Commander. Skyros, get in there, buddy. On the move. Ah, I see a dervish without missiles. Dervish is a 55 ton mech, which is actually quite good. Standing by. All right, Hunchy on the high ground. T-Bone. Waiting on you, Commander. Oh, T-Bone can actually go ahead and start shooting. And he should. Go in turbo. So, we want to heat up, but we don't want to overheat. Ah, this is way too much. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go with that. I don't care if I hit or not. You betcha. It's fine. It's just all about the heat. Get you next time. And TSM is on. So next round, we have a pretty good up, movement. I copy. 12, 29. Let's go for the dirt. Watch on. <laughs> Three damage. Take that, Dervish. Yes, Commander. And here's our striker, which should actually have a decent hit chance. Uh, the nighttime is the problem. The anyway, we're just gonna shoot what we can shoot. Alright, so turn 16. The Dervish is coming close. He is still dangerous because he can still melee us. Uh, huh? I'm gonna reserve this. I wanna see what's coming. Alright, oh, it's the technical, because I want to see if T-Bone can actually punch Mr. Sand Devil here. A crossbow! Alright. Primitive 60 tonner. Primitive? Uh, it's, 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 not the, it's not the best guy. I hear ya. So yeah, we have no way to punch yet. Although, our sprint speed is enough, technically. However, we don't have direct line of sight right now, so therefore he has to come closer. Holding action, Commander. Come on. I want to test run this. I want to see how much damage we can deal. Oh, come on, buddy. Don't run away. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go over to the Dervish to the right and see if I can challenge that guy with my melee mech. Fine. Receiving you. The rest of the guys, Full speed, move no to the target. left and try to hit this dude. Very nice. Target's taking a critical hit. Ready to get it on. Alright. On my way. Double time. No barrage here because I want to close in. Oh man, and we are about to just destroy the thing. Fine. I think I hit something good. Uh, huh? Yeah, Basilisk is gonna go for the Heading tonk that way. because that tonk has to go. Lighting them up. And we got him, nice. And now, vehicle down. It is time for T-Bone. Good to go. I mean, after Skyros has done its thing. Understood. Moving fast. Hey, buddy, fire. Targeting for an alpha strike. Should I just leave that thing? I mean, should I just not shoot the dervish? Score. It's Critical wrong, honestly. Orders. Uh, you will go... Yeah, you will go over here. I'll mm, race gonna you. challenge the crossbow, why not? Get some damage, do some harm. Waiting on you, Commander. So, TSM is on, and we're gonna it. keep it Back on. Speed, no shooting. By keeping up the heat. Just like that. We even have a hit chance. Special delivery. Ta-da! Alrighty, so T-Bone has a turn 17 initiative against the 14 of the Dervish. That should be enough. I wonder if we have line of sight though. I cannot really assess the cone correctly. The light cone. But we should. What can I do for you? We can do it, guys. Alright, so here here's the interesting part of it. We want to go in his back. And we can actually shoot all of our our weapons into the fight. Except for the tagger. Mm-hmm. Now. If we... What is that? Physical weapons. That's 363 damage. Holy crap. What kind of attack are we doing? Charge attack. 166. But we will also have a chance to destabilize us. A kick does 104 still. Physical weapon. Yeah, that's the thing. The Vibro Sword. What the actual hell. Let's go ahead and do that. Coordinates received. That's insane. That's a lot of damage already. It's a good sword. Bada boom. Pilot lethal damage. Did we Bang. just... You're <gasps> dead. We had punched him through the cockpit from behind. 
Gotcha. We just, no, we decapitated him. Oh, <laughs> with the katana. <gasps> wow. With the viper sword. Decapitation. That's insane, guys. And that's a dervish. Uh, what's well, that? I, I like dervishes, I gotta say. Heading that way. <laughs> All right, I don't know if we're gonna pick that Lighting thing. Them up. It's a battle mech. Which is uh, very, very hard to build because, you know, engines Vehicle and stuff down. that you have to put into that thing, but... Receiving oh, man, are we taking it? Copy that. We could, in the hope for salvage. I mean... It's a, it's a dervish. Daniel. It's a dervish. But it's only just a dervish. Oh, we gotta see about that. But that was a great move. I like it. That's gonna be a viable melee mech. Oh, yeah, and as soon as we get more piloting and a bit... Let's say a bit more mobility. As in a supercharger, maybe. But for that, we need more piloting, so we can use that correctly. Good to go. And it's not blowing up all the time whenever we try to use Understood. it. Moving so, fast. let's go. Roger that. Let's just destroy the crossbow real quick and, What's you know, up, have huh? a good time. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. Wait, can I not shoot this? I thought there was a blue line. Uh, I guess there's not. <laughs> Let's go wild, folks! Let's go wild. Hey, T-Bone, you want to do something? Come on in, man. Pedal to the metal. All right, you can shoot your ultra again. I like it. Let's do it. And let's go with that. Yeah, sure. Uh huh. I mean, this thing is currently running too way too many medium lasers. Way too many. So I we can save some. How to say it? Um, we can save some some uh, weight and, and efficiency. And put something else into the mech instead. Alright, he's also now Cobra destabilized. Hmm. Uh huh? Yeah, and then there's a basilisk coming in. Heading that way. Saying, hi. Lighting him up. Is he freaking out? He's definitely knocked down. <laughs> something just went boom. I mean, Need hum. Something, let me rephrase that. He is uh, definitely Confirmed. knocked down. Excellent. And that's what he is. Um, there's a 300 rated engine. I like that idea. We need to get that engine somehow. Ready for orders. Somehow. I don't know how yet, but we, we're gonna try to get it. So, no SRMs, just that. Yeah, he's still panicked. Yes, Commander. Can we just destroy the legs? That would be so good. Both of them, actually. Firing on target. Ah, that was the engine destroyed. Yeah, my people are not Hostile. really good with the cold shots yet. But we will get there. Mission successful. So good. Man, I love that game. That was cool. Very nice. So let's go to the salvage stage of this. We need to pick some good stuff here. And while there is a chance to get a dervish, it wouldn't be so much of an upgrade compared to what we have already. I mean, we have an atlas in the making. And that atlas is going to replace one of the hunchbacks. So... I'm not gonna take the dervish, although it's very tempting. Again, 55 ton missile mech. We could gamble on getting the engine out of that, but I think it's also just running a standard engine, if I remember correctly. Ugh. Primitive parts, a heavier cockpit. Yeah, I'll, I, I'll not take that, no. The Sand Devil, on the other hand, what was that thing bringing? Just a lot of mobility, nothing else, and a bit of armor. But two medium and two small laser is not worth looking at. <laughs> not at all. No, we are looking for better stuff. So let's see what we can actually pick. We might just pick the value parts here. Something like, like the fusion core. Multitrack is not worth anything, sadly. Single heat sink cooling. Wow, that's bad. There's a lot of bad things here. Lots of primitive stuff. IC engines. One million C bills. Primitive armor. Boah, it's really bad. We might want to pick the Sand Devil parts, because that might be worth a little bit. Alright, let's check it out. We get a crossbow part, Dervish Dervish Cargo, Sand Devil, sand oh, we get three parts of the Sand Devil, that's nice. LRM 15, I wanted to say, but it's a 5. We'll probably sell that thing directly. Small lasers, primitive armor, all the cores. I don't care, guys. But yeah, we got uh, 400,000 C builds out of this already. Primitive cockpit, this. Alright. So, let me, let me go do one thing. I want to see how much stuff and, and money we get out of the Sand Devil parts. And um, I want to see how this goes. So, let's check it out. 
But in the end, guys, that was a pretty successful run today. I really liked the, the melee mech actually proving itself. So that's good. And I would say, um, if we can avoid doing uh, charge attacks and just go in with physical weapon attacks, that thing is gonna wreck stuff. And the cool thing about it is we can also shoot into melee. That's amazing. So we need to outfit it a bit more. Uh, we need to make it better, just optimize it a bit, you know? Here's the thing. Um, that's a medium tank, right? The... where was it? Da -da -da -da, Cicada Blackjack. Sand Devil, there it is. We're not getting so much out of it. It's a hundred thousand sea builds. Maybe it's worth waiting. A Hetzer? It's thirty thousand. It's not that great anymore. It's a Medusa. Uh, what about light tanks like the Harasser? Ah, Twenty-one. Look at that. It's it's not much. It used to be a lot, but it's not much. The Warrior. Ah man. Cargo truck, come on, let's, let's drop that. That's a thousand sea It's not worth picking and, and, and keeping around. The Mockingbird gunship is actually quite interesting. Was it? Was that a thing? I mean, it has a good chunk of armor. That's what I mean. And we can unlock more tank slots later and uh, more mech slots as well. So I'd say, you know what? We're going to just leave it at that. And we're going to have a good time in the next episode of Rook Take. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.